So my name is Michael Kaliasos. I'm a Professor Chair of Macroeconomics and Finance at Goethe University Frankfurt. And uh, I'm also Director of the Pan-European Center on Research in Household Finance. So I'm happy to be visiting uh, VGU and the master's program in uh, global finance and economics and to be teaching the course on uh, advanced fundamentals of macroeconomics. Now what is this course about? Uh, macroeconomics uh, studies the aggregate economy, how the total output that we produce in the economy is uh, determined. How, what determines the prices that we pay and how fast these prices are growing, inflation, uh, what determines the rate of unemployment, the overall consumption by households, the overall investment by firms, um, also the long-run growth of the economy. And uh, all of these topics uh, um, are extremely interesting and extremely important right now because this is a period where the global economy is recovering from a series of successive crises. We've had the financial crisis in 2007-2009 with global repercussions. We've had the fiscal crisis in uh, Europe which has also had uh, impacts on uh, within on the Eurozone, but also on other countries in the world. And then we've had uh, two huge global crises. We've had uh, COVID, which was completely unexpected and required some you know, serious policy responses. And we now have the war in uh, Ukraine on top of COVID, which requires, which has brought inflation back and which requires even further policy responses. So macroeconomics is a study of how to respond to a sequence of crises, different types of crises, in an optimal way, in the best possible way, through fiscal policy, which changes government expenditures and taxes, but also through monetary policy, uh, whereby the central bank changes uh, interest rates. So it is not difficult to motivate the importance of macroeconomics to students. Now in economics, what we say normally is that as you go for, from undergraduate uh, to graduate to research, the questions tend to be the same, but what changes uh, is the answers to these questions. And um, that's why uh, we are talking about a fundamentals in macroeconomics course uh, at a level appropriate for a um, prestigious and a demanding master's program. So the course uh, starts uh, building a connection, a bridge to undergraduate macroeconomics uh, at an advanced level. And after a couple of lectures, it uh, starts introducing you know, the advanced material, but still it's a fundamentals course. So it's not a field course in macroeconomics, but it's a fundamentals course. And the idea is to provide a common basis to all the students in the first year of the master's program, so that then when they make their choices and they have their electives in uh, subsequent semesters, they can build on those fundamentals. They can build on, you know, that basis that they have established. Um, it is called advanced fundamentals because you know there is variety of uh, master's uh, courses around the uh, country and around the world you know of the level of these master's courses and uh, what we want to accomplish here what you know the program director has made uh, very clear to me that he wants to accomplish is uh, really uh, instruction at a very high level that would be suitable for people in demanding jobs but also for people uh, who want to continue to do a PhD and to do research.